Introduction We know that when we ride on a bicycle in the direction of the wind, it is easy to ride the bicycle. But when we go opposite side to the direction of the wind, it is very hard and we tire it easily. How else does wind affect and influence our lives? Sometimes the wind is cold and sometimes it feels pleasant and nice. It can blow clouds and sometimes raises dust. It is sometimes gentle but can be really strong too and blow away things. You read in class 6 that clothes dry faster on a windy day. Since wind has so much effect on our lives, we have to find out what winds are. How do they arise? The air around us is greatly still. It moves constantly from one direction to other direction. The movement is in many directions. This is what we call winds. So, we know that wind is moving air. Let us try to understand something more about air and winds. Activity Where do we find air? Take a bucket full of water and a transparent glass. Take a paper, crumple it into a ball and push it to the bottom of the glass. Invert this glass and immerse it into the bucket of water. Keep the glass straight and press it so that the glass is completely under water. Take it out and we observe that the paper in the glass do not get wet. If we tilt the glass while immersing it in the water, it will get wet. Activity Fill a bucket with water. Take a bottle with a narrow mouth and immerse it in the bucket till it fills with water. Did something come out of the bottle when water entered it? How do you know whether something came out or not? A glass or bottle that we think is empty is actually full of air. After doing activity 1 and activity 2, we understood that air is everywhere. Any bottle, glass or any other container that appears empty is actually full of air. Nothing can be added to it unless the air inside is removed. It is only when some air is removed that something else can enter. Air occupies the space around us. What are the steps needed to use a dropper? Explain its functioning. Does air exert pressure? Take a balloon and fill it with air. Keep blowing more and more air into it. The balloon expands when we increase pressure. The pressure pushes it to a point where the balloon can stretch no more and after a point bursts. A balloon is made of a highly elastic material like rubber or nylons. Similarly, a bicycle tube or tube of any other vehicle can burst when it is overfilled with air. For example, these may include a balloon being filled with air, the air-filled football that becomes hard, water raising through a hand pump, the tubes of cycle, scooter or car. Activity Take a syringe and draw out its plunger to the limit. Close the nozzle of the syringe with a finger.
when we press the piston we cannot be able to press the piston we will feel pressure on our finger while doing so